Hey everybody, Pretty Girl Politics. PGP, Pretty Girl Politics. Today we are talking about yoni stings. And we just had one. So yes. We're fresh up out the pot. <laughs> okay. They're also called V stings, uh, hip baths. And I, I think that's about it. Or you could call them vaginal steams. Or call it steam in your cooch. How about that? <laughs> <laughs> okay, because that's basically what the basis is of it. You sit on a pot, you got your nice herbs and your steams coming up into the to your vagina. Mm -hmm. And it's releasing all that uh, goodness. So Yeah, so um, you guys, what we're going to show you is a video of us actually getting the V-Steam. Uh, That's where the birds are. Okay, so hey everybody, Pretty Girl Politics. We are getting a bee sting today, yes. and it feels Ooh. wonderful. I cannot see. Did you got yours in high or no? Oh, I have no clue what mine is on at, at all, but it... I don't know if there's different modes on the bee sting. Yeah, there's like low, medium, high. Mine's is kicking up a little bit, <laughs> but it still feels fine. <laughs> you know, can't see anything, but. So it is wonderful. I feel the steam. Yeah. I just feel that I smell the natural herbs. Wonderful. Yeah. So we'll let you guys know how it went. Woo, woo, it's starting to get hot. <laughs> but it's still. <laughs> We're, uh -oh. We want to tell you how the experience was. Um, it was very interesting. Uh, it was my first time getting a V Steam. Was this yours? It was my first time getting a V Steam. So um, definitely, we're some newbies. Yeah. And uh, we know people love to get them weekly, monthly. Um, woo! It was hot. That's okay. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it, because it, you know, the lady she asked us, you said, well, do you, how do you like your steam? Low, medium, or high? Mm -hmm. And um, when it was on low, it wasn't enough steam, but on high, that was like burn your behind kind of yeah. thing. Medium was just right for the most part. Um, but, you know, it depends on where, you know, you're getting this done or if you're doing this at home yourself, a DIY, a DIY type. Um, because her setup was generally what you're gonna see in the video. It was a very, very basic setup. And so if you're trying to do a V-Steam at home, uh, that you would go buy one of those, um, those uh, they're actually chairs that are designed for people with disabilities to be able to do sits baths and yeah. be able to go to the bathroom and things like that. However, they can work for a V-Steam. You can buy them from Amazon for like 20 something to $30. Um, but the, the, the more traditional way, uh, would be to get the wooden box that has a hole in the top and to get, you know, a pot going underneath there. If you guys do this at home, make sure you use, um, either a stainless steel pot or a copper pot. Please, you guys do not use those plastic sits bath thingies don't use anything made of plastic because even if it says bpa free you don't know what other chemicals is coming out of that plastic that could go up into your your your, your vaginal area and cause you health issues i know from my experience with this v steam being the first time it was wonderful i feel rejuvenated i feel like my coach just got a nice just woo. so um i just want to say um like I said, they do put, you have a covering over you, as you'll see in our video that we do show. Um, the steam is very, 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 very hot. Um, and supposedly there are different types of um, herbs that can be used. What she used was just a basic um, basic style herb. She had, she had um, mother's word. She said she had some, um, oh, I can't even remember a lot of well, things I that she stated, but rosemary, yeah, um, on the back of the bed. She told us, but you know, I, I know I'm knowing her, her say mugwort, 
on the back of the bag, because I did browse, it said rosemary, chamomile, calendula. Yeah, she used cam calendula. Rose petals. Um, but what she did, I don't know if other um, places are offering this, but what she did express was that um, they have their original little, you know, herbal bags that they use, but then they also have different ones that if you're having a problem, they have people, if they have vaginosis, if they have bacterial infections, um, she said that it's good for people that are having um, hot flashes, they're going through like a whole bunch of different stuff. So she uses different like herbs for uh, different problems. And then you, of course, you have just the, the original one. Um, but I loved it. I think that it was great. I think that, um, shoot, at the end of the day, I want to see what happens. Um, I don't feel any type of like liquid or anything. Do you feel anything coming down there or anything like that? I don't feel anything coming no, out the, leaking. yeah, I don't feel anything leaking. It was nice. I don't feel anything, no discharge or nothing. So my whole thing is, I think it's just to cleanse your vagina and whole ladies. I think this is a great experience for every woman to try at least one time. It might not be for you, but I think it's a great cleansing method. Um, it also, I heard tightens up, honey, tightens those muscles up, tightens that the JJ up. I heard for some of you guys who have husbands out there, it's great for um, sexual behaviors in the bed. And that's only for your husbands. You hear me, your husbands. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I hear it's good for that as well. And it's, um, Google it. You can look up every every health fertility. benefit that yeah fertility yeah you so can look up every health benefit that it's good for but it's good for a lot yeah a lot for the women if you're um if you're in a certain age range where you still you're not in menopause but you're still in your fertile range but you want to make sure you're maintaining your fertility and your vaginal health this is ideal if you're having issues with cramping mm -hmm. and you know uncomfortable periods this oh, yes. is ideal if yes. you have extremely heavy periods this is ideal yes. um you know there's so like she said there's a whole you know plethora of different health issues that you may have yes. this is what it's good for and like she said sometimes you can buy the packages already pre-made online or from the you know practitioner who's selling yes. them or you can get They'll make, create you something custom depending on what's going on with different herbs well, what's going for on with you. your body. Yeah, or you can do your research, like you said, online and go to, you know, your local health food store, buy and the figure herbs, out what's going on. put them together, and go ahead and And also, it. you need to, if you're going to be doing this on a consistent basis, um, like the lady who we actually went to, she actually had the disabled chairs where the pot was underneath. And she said that she likes to do those because of the fact that it's more comfortable. She's also saying that she is actually having some chairs made specifically for uh, the V steams and to feel comfortable. And she's having those homemade from somebody. Mm -hmm. Now, um, the pots that everybody sees, those are the original, you know, the original little pots with the, well, the sit down little um, wooden, I guess, bases with the hole in it. A lot of people are saying that those are uncomfortable. So you got to kind of like try it out yourself and see which one works for you. Yeah. Um, she was stating that for bigger bottom women that the sit down um, wooden ones were a little bit uncomfortable, you know, because of the fact that you have more cushion for the pushing. So, so, you know, she said those were a little bit uncomfortable and the disabled chairs were um were better for it so mm -hmm. try it out and just figure out which what works for you what's definitely best. definitely take care of your bodies ladies yes, okay take care of your bodies but um awesome experience um i could say about the location that we went to out here in atlanta of course in sandy springs i think that um it was definitely clean what do you think cleanliness is a must it was when really, you're going to these type yeah. of places yeah make um, sure it's a nice good clean place like where we went to. yeah smells yeah. fresh yeah. you know Lady make very sure, friendly very friendly very open willing to let you know you know any questions or concerns mm -hmm. that you have you know and she definitely made sure to check up on us if she thought anybody yes. was uncomfortable because sometimes those things can just get a little hot mm -hmm. real fast Woo! and she was like Sizzle everybody okay <laughs> you know what i'm saying because she want to make sure nobody's yeah. getting burned so yeah make sure that steam is mm -hmm. not too hot and if you do discover that for any reason you 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 have a little skin burn or whatever because it can happen regardless yeah. um you know it doesn't have to happen to everybody but if it does because you get waxing done mm -hmm. so you're extra sensitive aloe vera gel rub it on outside yep. the vulva and all that and uh you know carry on and on the cheeks honey the <laughs> cheeks gotta get some loving too and wherever but, you're burning yeah, put that over your burning 
Um, but yeah, so you just want to just make sure you go to a reputable place or if it's somebody that's just now starting um, a spa or a uh, V-Steam place, you just want to make sure it's kept, you know, it's upkept in that um, it's nothing nasty, you know, people are very friendly and they're willing to explain the process because this is something different, you know, a lot of people have not ever tried this. It is yeah. something... It's not new yeah. in terms of culture. Yeah, terms it's of culture. been around for a lot of thousands of yeah, years they said that. in mm -hmm. a lot of different cultures, but Asian. to a lot of Americans, mm -hmm. African, you name it, yep. a lot of cultures, they have it. They just call it something different. Yes. But it, for a lot of Americans, it's yes. definitely something new. And if you want to try it, I yeah. think it's worth it. It's definitely worth it. Go somewhere first. Yes. Like she said. Yeah, go don't first. don't don't order it online first to try yeah. it. Go somewhere first yeah, and we, see mm. how you know how everything's supposed to be. So you can see you if know, you really actually like yes. it and to make sure it's being done professionally because if you try it at home, you're you're running the risk of, you know, potentially <laughs> causing Ooh. yourself some damage if don't you don't get know to that what's hospital, honey. You know what I'm saying? At least see how they're doing it. And get the experience, and then you can try to do it yourself at home because it, DIY. it can get pricey if you're going all the time yeah. somewhere. Though she did offer an awesome price, so yeah. I don't see it's it. It's pretty a big deal reasonable. Yeah. I say, from anybody who I've seen posting um, their costs, I said it, I'm looking at anywhere from like 25 to about 50 bucks, yeah. depending on what the location looks like. And depending on the package. Yeah, the yeah. package, where the location yeah. is, because you mm -hmm. know, location is everything. Um, if, and if, if it's they in a offer prime you area, wine versus yeah, water, things like that. It's stuff like that. But yeah. I say anywhere between about 25 and 50 bucks. So I think that's pretty reasonable, especially if you're going to be doing it like once a month or once every so often. Yeah. So check out Groupon for deals. That's, yeah. that's actually where Groupon, we found our yep. Groupon. Deal breaker. Y'all know good old Groupon, honey. So <laughs> stop acting like you don't. Hey, but um, we know yeah, Groupon. you no got shame. to do your, you got to do your uh, due diligence on it, honey, and find yeah. a good deal. So other than that, I think we had a great experience. I, I think liked it. It was relaxing. Back. I think we'll definitely be yeah. back. It was relaxing. Was friendly. It felt nice, and she yeah. was very friendly. She was very friendly. I um I what would was definitely. The name of the place we went to? Oh, I forgot. Uh, uh, I can't even remember, Lord. guys. Um, it, I'm sorry. It, I'll put the name. She'll in the description post it below. Box yeah. Below. Sorry, guys. With so the link to the website. In, yeah. If you're in Georgia, if you're in the perimeter area, Sandy Springs, or yeah, you can check. Come down here, check her out. Yeah. But I would definitely come back. I would definitely do it again. Yeah. I probably wouldn't do it weekly, um, but I would definitely do it again. Yeah, I might actually also start doing some do-it-yourself at home because I was thinking about it anyway. Oh yeah. But I said, let me try this out oh, first. Yeah. For professional, you know. But um, I like it. It was very relaxing. Guys, if you guys ever had a V Steam or you're you're thinking about trying to um, go into a place and get a V-Steam done, comment below, mm -hmm. let us know. Um, if you have done the V-Steam, let us know what your thoughts were, what your concerns were, let us know um, if it was a good experience or not for you. Um, or if you have any questions about our experience that we didn't answer here, comment below and let us know.